Man, I look, uh, I look tired. I am tired. Oh, oh, hey, hi. Uh, <clears throat> you might be wondering why I have this here helmet on, and I'll tell you in a little bit. Hey, everybody, welcome to another weekly update with Blue Ox Running. It is Thursday, August 8th, and we are here in the trails of Lowe's Creek Park. You might be wondering why I have this here helmet on and these here gloves on. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Really important announcement just about today. You can go to our group run if you're just looking for a casual kind of three to six mile route with friends, or please go to the Tortoise and the Hare 5k race with indian head track club if you're looking for a fun time with the race and demler park all the information is on their website you can definitely still register at the event all right the reason i'm coming to you live i guess it's live it's not really live it's on site the reason i'm coming to you on site on the trails here the beautiful trails in lowes creek i'm doing some recon here with my helmet and my mountain biking stuff yes i actually am mountain biking so I'm, I'm not just running around the trails here in a helmet although I probably could have used a helmet as I've I've fallen more than I ever have this year I don't know if that's true for you I'm doing some recon around the trails in Eau Claire here for the best place for our first trail transformation trail running clinic put on by trail transformation down in La Crosse Wisconsin it's going to be put on in two weeks from today the 22nd of August stay tuned to that Facebook event or just our videos and our website for the exact location where to meet up and everything they have a great business going on in La Crosse called trail transformation they do some clinics they are going to do a clinic for us specifically just for our group run they also do some one-on-one -on -one coaching so check them out trail transformation you'll be able to meet them meet the coaches meet the clinic leaders in two weeks from today come if you've never trail run before come if you have trail run before it's going to be a little bit different than our trail night in the spring we're not going to have all the giveaways and we're not going to have all the food and everything like that it's going to be a little bit more concise with a focused emphasis on trail running clinic and some tips some pointers how to run downhill how to run uphill how to just tighten up your form when it comes to the trails i'll be out here learning from those guys you'll be out here learning from those guys trail transformation puts on a great clinic in two weeks august 22nd check the facebook event check our calendar for all the details the other thing i wanted to mention yes i i mountain bike maybe as a cross training event like once a week if that i like once or twice a week i ride my bike to work a lot of the time so i've got some of the good gear you need a helmet obviously but how, how do you know that you're a runner biking as opposed to a biker biking well a couple things get your running singlet on i guess my running singlet on really is that really what's going on here got running shorts on running shorts on as i'm biking okay in serious danger of road rash. If you wanna just check this out, I've got a kickstand. <laughs> I've got a kickstand on my bike. I'm not ashamed of that thing. It keeps my bike up, okay? If you wanna come at me about my kickstand, I, well, I don't know what to tell you, just come at me. I, I don't know what that means, but come at me. I got a kickstand. What are you gonna do about it? I know that a lot of you run and bike, but there is definitely a distinction between runners that bike as opposed to bikers that bike and bikers that run. You know you're out there too. Bikers that run as opposed to runners that run. Okay, so you can make fun of me for my kickstand, but you're still probably running around town with your grandpa's gold toe cotton socks on. So quick shout out to the couple bike shops that have helped me out here on my own dime, of course. They're not giving me anything for free. Of course, we're supporting local business. This is the same bike that I actually bought at Eau Claire Bike and Sport in Water Street during my college years, okay? I've maintained it pretty well. Thanks to the folks at Shift for getting me some pretty cool shoes. I don't know if you can see them. Got some shoes with the good pedals on them. They helped me out, just tune it up. So check out those businesses. You got Shift. A lot of resources here in Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley. Spring Street Sports does a great job with cross country skis, bikes, all that good stuff. We have a lot of good local stores that can help you out with running, biking, being outdoors, all that good stuff. I know I've missed some people. Cross training is good, right? I did a really hard kind of longer fart lick workout yesterday. So I'm recovering on the bike. I am gonna run at the group run tonight really nice and slow and easy. So maybe in the comments below, give me a couple other reasons why you are a biker that runs or a runner that bikes. Shout out to all the bikers, shout out to all the runners. We're just one big happy family, okay? I gotta end this video. I gotta get back on my bike, goodbye. So just a couple other thoughts as I rode the last couple miles, as I'm definitely a runner that's on a bike today, is uh, number one, my brakes pretty much don't work. Like my front brake doesn't work at all. Uh, back brake is about 60%. And then uh, I have literally no tools on me. If I got a flat tire or or whatever, I'd probably just 
leave the bike here and run home. Just kind of thinking, uh, when I said come at me, like about my kickstand, uh, I, I'm not trying to cause a ruckus. Uh, definitely not trying to want to fist fight anyone because we all know the the runners are probably uh, the least well matched in a fist fight. We don't want any trouble. Um, I don't think I'm going to take off my kickstand, but uh, we'll just agree to disagree on the kickstand there. Peace be with you, and we can just consider that all water under the bridge. You get it? Okay. Goodbye.